Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft and today you can accompany me for a cozy overnighter in the winter here in my forest cabin. I found a great way how I can heat my cabin in the winter without much costs, very efficient, safe and simple. What it is and what other plans I have for my ca forest cabin in the next months, you will find out in this video. So if you want, stay tuned and come with me. The warm days are over and now I had to heat the cabin. I don't check the temperature now, but it is pretty cold, too cold to our inside without a jacket. And I make a lot of thoughts in the summer months how I can heat the cabin and I've got a lot of great ideas from you. And now I make a decision why, uh, at which way I heat the cabin which I choose and why I tell you later. With this lettern from Pietro Max, I heat my cabin in the winter months. It works with paraffin and it is very easy to handle. This is not an old school and retro look. This lettern is also produced like this, in this style um, and in this construction for about 100 years. And it is very, very easy to handle and it makes a lot of heat and you can see it a lot of light. I let burn the latern a few times at home that I know the handling with it and one filling um, hold at home for 12 hours. So this is really great. The candles and the small lanterns are burning now since an hour and till now the big lantern is inside, the paraffin lantern. And the temperature now is 9 degrees and I'm curious how long it needs till we had 50 degree. So Everything higher than 50 degrees is so comfortable that you can pull your jacket out. Let's see how long it takes. Let's go a little bit outside.
Johannes is watering our plants. We make a hill bed here in the spring. This was the earth from a fallen tree and at first the children play there. It was the children playground and later we plant our fruit plants here on top. We had um, strawberry, blueberry, raspberry, um, yeah, and so all, all small berries. And we had this year three blueberries and one risp from the um, from the red berries, risp berries. It was not much, but it is on start. And uh, next year the plants will have deeper. Um, they they grow deeper, and then I hope we got more fruits. This here is our rainwater collect system. I've built something from at the roof. I make a video about it. Um, here came the water down from the roof, and here at this metal string, it came down into this big metal bottle. And I've had I've, I had this one here at top that all the needles and leaves are not in the water and also of course that no animal can fell inside and drunk there. So um, this water is for our plants from the, from the for the hill bed and I also plant a lot of trees around of the cabin that the cabin uh, that they that people cannot see the cabin from a bigger distance. They are really small now and I had to to water them that they don't die in the summertime. And I also can filter this water with a water filter. I had a filter in the cabin, so I can use it as drink water. And in the summer times, I can fill the solar shower with this water. When I or when we spend a longer time at the cabin, of course, we had also to go to the toilet. And I had no toilet here at the cabin. So I heard, I, I searched what I can use as a cabin toilet. And um, yeah, this is a compromise that I had now, but this is not a long term um, toilet for me because um, this is not what I want. So this is um, a small, an, an, an case, plastic case with a handle here and it had on top and you can sit here and go to toilet and after using it I have here some um, some small pieces of wood this is normally for pets and I put this on top because this um, this fills it fills itself with the liquid and um, it don't smell when this is on top and when it is cold in the winter times and the children had to go to the toilet at night, I can put it, this inside um, of the cabin. But this is not what I want to use for a long time, so I had to search for something else. <laughs> we fixed this rope here between the trees um, for um, for our sleeping bags in the summer so that they can hang in the fresh air and dry out and when it is so wet and cold the whole time they are very strong around the trees and Johannes loved to to jump on it and let his energy out there Tatsan, bist du, gell? <laughs> Little monkey. I've built a lot here at the cabin and um, make everything self, um, looking that we have water, that we have something like a fridge, that we had something that heat, 
the plants and um, all this stuff. But the only thing that I not have yet is um, a toilet, only the small toilet, this camping toilet, but this is not what I want. So, and I have here this free space behind of the cabin. And I thought I make between these trees here, direct at the wall, a compost toilet, so a small extra building. Um, I don't want to build this somewhere in the forest because I don't want to go out when it is dark and when it's cold in the winter time and go so uh, deep in the wood. So I thought I'd build it here direct at the backside from the cabin. Um, I don't think that it smells so much because we spend not so much time here at the cabin and we are not so much people that we use this so often. So um, there are different systems. We cover the excrements with something like ash or earth that it smells not and it is compostable and um, a Actually, look now, it is the best thing for the nature. Um, I searched in the World Wide Web for a ready built compost toilet, which I had only to fix um, and to put it together, but they are so expensive, so I had to build it at my own. I had some wood here also there from the building parts in the past and I want to build their uncompassed toilet. I never built uncompassed toilet, toilet before or use uncompassed toilet so this is a complete new land for me. I had no idea um, how it, no I had an idea how it works but not um, how to use uncompassed toilet so I had to search in the World Wide Web and it is every time the same when I build something at the cabin and I tell you about my plants. I've got so many great ideas, tips and tricks from you in the comments. So if you have any idea, um, if I hadn't, haven't thought about an important point or something else or something that I should know about a compost toilet, please write it for me here down in the comments. It is always like I'm brainstorming. I've got so many great tips and comments from you about the building part here at the cabin. This is just great. Thank you. Slowly it is really cold here out in the forest. Johannes is still playing and everywhere around is the fog and it is dark. And behind me there glows the window from the cabin very bright and it looks so warm and comfortable inside. It is like a flashlight, old style flashlight. You can light out the whole forest. But now I took it again inside because inside we need the warm. We need it warm inside. Heidi. Come get rein. Heidi. Come come. Machen wir es gemeinsam? Warte. Holdi, come. Come. Hey, you have to reach the again.
So. Yeah. Yeah. So Johannes and I want to cook now mm -hmm. because we are hungry. Yeah, we have hunger. Yeah. And then we want to make us some hot tea with chives mm -hmm. and uh, eating an orange, mm -hmm. eating some nuts. Mm -hmm. We have hazelnuts here. Mm -hmm. And then we want to play a game and read a book. So we had a lot of fun and very nice evening. Oder wird's ein schöner Abend? Ja. Yeah. Machen wir es uns gemütlich, yeah. oder? Good. Ich freue mich schon so auf leckere Essen. Ja, yeah, Johannes said he is so hungry now. He wants to eat. He is happy Dann when we can eat something. Ich freue mich schon so auf die Sense lecker. Ja, yeah, we cook now. Lecker. Let's go. When the lantern are burning, there is the danger of an um, carbon monoxide problem here in the cabin. Because of this I had always to check that I have enough air exchange. One window is always open that enough fresh air came inside. Otherwise it could be that we go to sleep and never wake up. So I had here also an alarm system that making a noise when um, the air is too bad, that it is not enough to breathe. This is very um, dangerous. Many people died because of this and um, I had always one or two windows open that the air can circulate here into this room. I have now finally inside 21 degrees that is pretty much warm. It is like a sunny spring day. Um, I had one candle lantern burning, one gasoline lantern, um, then three small Petra Max lantern, the big paraffin lantern, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight candles. So it is pretty warm. At night I just let burn the small candle lantern and one Petra Max lantern. All the other things are out then and I'm curious how cold or how warm it is tomorrow in the morning. Ich tue es gleich hier runter, dann hast du gleich wieder mehr Platz. Johannes had cut the vegetables. He loved to cut something, um, so it is no uh, no kids' work. He loved to do this, and um, our our vegetables are now filled with water. And it's finally at the gas cooker. And later I had this here. This is called Maultasche. That means um, mouth bag so this here um, it is like a noodle and fill it with um, meat he honest love it so today we make maultaschen suppe
while we are waiting for our soup, we use the time and play a game. I lost two times and Johannes win two times at our game. So, das Gemüse ist jetzt schon so gut wie fertig. Jetzt kann man noch die Maultaschen rein. Wir sitzen nebeneinander. Dann da drüben, oder? Mhm. Auf der langen Bank. Nein, hier. Aber die Bank ist zu so kurz, dann müssen wir uns quetschen. Hocken wir uns hier quetschen. rüber, Schatzi. Nein, wir können uns hier drüben auch quetschen. Nein, hier quetschen. Na, da mal drüben essen, okay? Ja. Hm. Alles abgeputzt. Hier kommt die Suppe. Oh, oh. Schau, wie es dampft. Uh, lecker. Was ist denn da? Mhm. Rein. Oh, Gordon, Johannes. Oh, ist noch heiß, oder? Mhm. Warum? Warte ich noch ein bisschen. Soll ich dir deine Maultasche klein machen? Mhm. The empty stomach is uh, full. It was very delicious. And now I had to clean the dish. Not my favorite part of the day, but I had to do it. So, zum krönenden Abschluss gibt es jetzt noch einen schönen Kinderpunsch. Mhm. Schön. Ich hab auch gefallen. Ich hol's gleich, Jonas. So, Teezeit. Tea time. Tea time. Hast du ja alles gefertigt? Was ist das? Was ist das? Ein Löwe. Ein Löwe. Ein Löwe. I earn money with YouTube. YouTube is my job or my biggest job. And the last time as I was ill, I can't work, so I can't work, can't um, earn money. And some really, really nice people thought at me and sent me a donation um, via PayPal. And I want to say thank you for this nice um, thoughts. And um, because of this, I am sitting now here and uh, write autograph cards for everyone who make a donation. And it's so so peaceful here, so silent, so beautiful. I enjoy the time a lot. Johannes is um, 
cutting some animals out of orange covers and I sit here and want to make and um, create a little thank you to all of those people who make a donation. Yeah, Johannes is showing what he's doing with I'm the um, with the knife. This here is a duck. Can you see it? <laughs> yeah. I was outside and we had minus degree outside so it is freezing in the forest and here inside we had 24 degrees this is pretty warm um, the normal sleeping temperature should be about 18, 19 degrees. It is warmer than that. Um, really comfortable inside here. So this left hern from Hydromax is just great. I used it at home before and when you come close to the lettern you can feel that it's very hot but that this lettern can heat the whole cabin is amazing. Pretty good. Our bed is really comfortable now. I've put out the sleeping bags. Johannes is sleeping in the greasy bag down wool ice. That's the winter sleeping bag. I don't want it. He's freezing in the night. And I had the survival sleeping bag. So I don't thought that I get the cabin so warm because of this. I have the big winter sleeping bags. Um, they are not really, need, really needed at these temperatures, but better too warm than too cold. Guten
morning. We had a very cozy night. You honestly sleep very well. We have almost 30.5 degrees inside of the cabin, so it is not too cold, but um, it can be warmer. So because of this I uh, make all the candles on and now we want to have a nice and warm breakfast. Darfst du den Gaskocher mal hier hinstellen, bitte? Darf ich den Zucker gemeinsam aufdrehen? Ja. Gut. Da kann man dann verstellen, ob, ob, ob größere und heißere Flamme oder ein bisschen zurück. Genau. Vollkommen richtig. Schmecken. Ist noch heiß, hast du schon probiert? Mhm. So, Johannes and I go now outside because we want to make a small Christmas decoration out of natural materials. Let's look what we find, so what we can build or not. And we have from yesterday this cover from the orange, Johannes could cut some nice things out of the orange and this is also a part of our decoration let's see what we find maybe some moss some branches some grass or plants all natural stuff so let's take the warm clothes on and go outside in this case is my fresh water and um, I'm curious if it will uh, get frozen in the winter when it is really cold or not because I had no idea how I can save this water from getting frozen. Maybe you have an idea, I don't want to cam come one day and then it is an ice block. So what's your idea what I can do that this water will not uh, frozen? not freeze.
we have some nuts for the forest animals. So, we say goodbye now because we leave the forest hut now. It looks very beautiful here, all natural materials. Oder das haben wir schön gemacht. We had a very nice time here, very relaxing, very peaceful, so silent. Just nice here. So thank you for watching and I hope we see us again in the next video. Have a great time. Bye bye. Thank you.